Darby is very energetic. Quite the jumper. Can probably do a four foot jump. He gets along with some other dogs. He's a little selective. He cannot go with children because he also nips. So we always err on the side of caution because Bunch we all... Bunch of nipplers. <laughs> we want everybody to be happy. We want the family to be happy. We want the dog to be happy. And that's why we do two-week trials. It's not fair to anybody because everybody's heart get broken, gets broken if it doesn't work out. So right. we err on the side of caution when we place the dogs. I mean, despite them all, you know, nibbling or whatever, they, I mean, they all seem so calm right now. Well, so... And that's a good thing because we have to remember when we come to adoptions they all want the like attention. this, it's very stressful for the dogs too. People seem to forget that. It's like sometimes if we've just picked up a dog off a street or we've just picked up an owner surrender, that poor dog only knows what it's used to. Now whether it be good or bad, it's still, we've taken it out of its only environment. Right. So, and then you place it in here as an owner surrender and their poor little hearts and their minds are going, why am I here? What do these people want from me? Are they going to be nice to me? And then you have the poor dogs that have been on the streets. They're scared to death. Um, they have issues. And sometimes it takes them a couple weeks to decompress. You have some issues? Darby was one that was running the streets. Uh, running wild innocent girl, in the streets. An innocent bystander <laughs> found her on, I think, in Westchester, running the streets, brought Darby to us. And this poor boy was a mess for a while. He was just, he didn't know if he was coming or going. And look at him now. He's one happy camper. This dog's super awesome, though. Look, yeah.